Thanks for stopping by the classroom today. Today we're gonna to talk about cell structures and their functions. So we're gonna look at two types of cells. We're gonna look at an animal cell, like this one. And we're also gonna look at a plant cell, like this one. There's a lot of similarities, but a few differences. So let's talk about the nucleus first. The nucleus is the brain of the cell. This uh, houses and protects all the DNA and genetic information for the cell. All right, that's the nucleus. Okay, within the nucleus, we have the structure called the nucleolus. All right, and this is where the ribosomes are made. All right, they say this is the location of ribosome synthesis, but it just means this is where ribosomes are made. Next, we'll look at the rough endoplasmic reticulum, or the rough ER. Um, the rough ER is where proteins are made and modified, right, using the ribosomes, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. Then you have the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, or the smooth ER, which you can see here. And the smooth ER, uh, it makes lipids um, for the cell membrane and, and for the cell's functions. It also stores calcium ions to be released later. And it's also involved in detoxification of harmful substances. So you have a lot of smooth ER in like, the liver where you have a lot of detoxification. Next, we have the Golgi apparatus or the Golgi complex. All right, the Golgi apparatus is sort of the uh, sorting and shipping center of the cell. It sorts proteins and then ships them to their final locations. Next, we have the mitochondria, uh, kind of known as the powerhouse of the cell. Right? It's involved in cellular respiration, um, which is used to make ATP, ATP being the cell's energy source or the energy currency of the cell. So the mitochondria produces the energy for the cell and for your whole body. Ribosomes, ribosomes like we talked about, are those little dots on the outside of the rough ER. Um, they translate RNA into proteins. It's a simple job, but somebody's gotta do it. Vacuoles are storage containers, right? You see them here. Um, they store things like water, waste, harmful substances, uh, lots of other stuff. In the plant cell particularly, we have one large vacuole, it's called the central vacuole. And that central vacuole um, is filled with mostly water and it helps to keep the plant turgid or firm, right? So if a plant's going limp is because that central vacuole isn't full. All right, well, that was part one. Make sure you watch part two. Click here. Uh, it's got a lot more good stuff for you. We'll see you over there.